That's right, guys. Breaking news. Anjabur faces backlash following Free Palestine Instagram story. That's right. Anjabur took to her social media to show support and disapprove the situation going on in Israel right now. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I will need your help in the comments. As I've stated before, I am not an expert on this situation and anyone with more insight that can shed light on the situation that's going on. Why is it going on? Who's the, who's the cause of it? Is Anshabur right? Is she wrong? Why is she facing this backlash? Let's get into it. But first, a rundown of the scores of the day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Tennis Network. We are going to talk tennis first. Eva Liz, the two to one favorite over Tamir Korpash, upset in the Klesnapoka Romania semifinal. Tamara Korpatch having a rough season, the Battle of Germany. Tamara will make her first main tour final this year. Gabriela Elena Rusa taking on Rubika Masarova, the last seeded player and the favorite to win the tournament in the semifinal. Gabby makes her first main tour championship in a long time. Congratulations, Gabriela Elena Rusa, the wild card. She is in the final. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to gain a lot of points, 190 just for making it to the final. If she can win it, 250 points, she'll have a spot in the Australian Open main draw. Congratulations, Gabby. How about in Tunisia, guys? You know, we'll come back to Tunisia. Nachang, China. Marie Buskova takes out Diana Snyder. She makes her first main tour championship of the season. Katarina Sinyakova, also from the Czech Republic. She makes her second tournament in as many weeks championship final she took out Layla Fernandez she gets revenge last week in Hong Kong straight sets two to one underdog we're gonna have an all Czech Republic final in China now in Tunisia guys before the drama started Anjabor was set to play doubles with Venus Williams that did not happen this is Anjabor's tournament we were looking forward to seeing her play but then the drama started and if you're not familiar what's going on again i've stated i am not the expert anyone with for her social media comments about the situation going on overseas right now the israeli tennis association filed an official complaint to the wta against tennis star anjabor ouch this was following an instagram story showing support for the palestinians amid the continuing israel gaza war the ITA sent correspondence to the International Tennis Federation to alert the WTA and sanction the athlete. Anshabor, that is. If you're not familiar, on October 11th, Anshabor published a story on her official Instagram account in which she expressed her support for the Palestinians. What the Palestinians have been going through the past 75 years is indescribable. These are innocent civilians going through indescribable situations. It shouldn't matter what their religion is or their origin is. Jabor said. Anz would go on to say, we all want to achieve peace. Peace is all we need and deserve. Stop the violence. Free Palestine, she added. Now, the ITA accused Jabor of incitement and supporting a terrorist organization. Ouch. Those are harsh statements. A.V. Pertz, the president of the Israel Tennis Association, strongly condemned Jabor's comments. This tennis player, Anz Jabor, that is, incites and supports a murderous terrorist organization. These are the words of A.V. Pertz. We're glad she's in the minority compared to sane athletes in the rest of the world, Mr. Pertz said. Whoa, those are serious allegations against Anz Jabor. Now, other Tunisian and Arab athletes are also facing similar criticism after taking stances and, and basically stances supporting the Palestinians. The Tunisian national football team and footballer Issa Ludani of Union Berlin, he garnered anger from the club's fans after expressing his support in those in Gaza. If you're not familiar, at least 3,000 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza and at least 12,000 have been injured. About 1,200 Israelis have been killed also as a result of this recent war. This is horrible, guys. Now, Anshabur did respond and comment below what are your thoughts of her response, quote, Defending the human rights of Palestinians does not mean you are pro Hamas. Saying free Palestine does not mean you are anti-Semitic or want all the Jews gone. Free Palestine means free Palestinians from the Israeli occupation that's been robbing them their basic human rights 
for 75 years. Free Palestine means stop caging 2.3 million Palestinians in the world's largest open air prison, half of whom are children. Free Palestine means end the apartheid imposed by the Israeli government. Free Palestine means give the Palestinians control over the basic infrastructure in their land, end quote. Whoa, those are powerful words. What do you guys think? Is Anz right? Is she wrong? Now listen, conflict in Israel, Egypt has been going on for hundreds of years, thousands of years. Now the president of Egypt, I mean, we all know his famous words. The original Jews left the country black and came back white. There's, whoa, that is deep. What do you guys think of that? Powerful words. But do you guys agree? Do you think the Israeli Tennis Federation, who is calling on the WTA to punish Anshabor for, quote, what they consider incitement and support for a murderous and Nazi terrorist organization? So, I mean, you have both sides claiming the other is a terrorist organization. Who's right? Who's wrong? What do you guys think? Now, again, Anshabor, she came out. She spoke her opinion, and this is why you never see a lot of professional athletes give their opinion on, you know, wars or politics or situations, because a lot of the star athletes, especially when we're talking top 10 in tennis, they have endorsements, huge sponsors, and the objective of these companies is to make a profit. So they normally will put in the contract for their players to not include themselves and not speak out on situations that could ruin their profit, you know, that could affect, um, you know, revenue, uh, fans spending money with their organizations. So a lot of times you have a lot of star athletes still stay quiet. It's all about the bottom line, right? The objective is to make money. And when your star athlete is making comments on political situations, then that can affect the company and these companies sponsor these athletes they literally pay for a lot of their expenses and when they're taking a hit on their PL and their bottom line then it's not a win for that company which is why a lot of companies will encourage within the contract that these athletes say nothing about situations that could cause turmoil and upset the public perception of that star athlete, no matter if they're right or wrong, right? And this is why Drake and DJ Khaled, they're under a lot of fire right now for stating zero, right? They've said nothing about the situation and fans are putting them under fire for staying quiet. But we have to understand they have a lot of sponsors and endorsements and it's, they probably have managers and agents that are encouraging them to say nothing. You know, let this blow over, let this go away, let it resolve itself and work itself out. Do not get involved and ruin the multi-million dollar empires, billion dollar empires that you're a part of. I think this is why Anz Shabur is different, right? She speaks up, she's for love, she's for peace. The best shot maker in the world in terms of tennis, I don't care male or female, she's the best shot maker. But She doesn't care about money. And she said so many times in interviews, it's about what you can do to help people. You know, it's about showing love, spreading love. And this is why Anz is different. This is why Coco's different. This is why Iga's different. You know, these top players, Pigula, they all speak up on issues because they don't care about money. They care about integrity. Iga, Coco, Pigula, Anshabor, they all speak up and speak out on issues. And I think this current top 10 of of ladies, they're doing a good job of following Serena Williams, you know, footprints, you know, her blueprint for speaking up when things are wrong. However you feel, whether you're right or wrong, give your opinion, especially if it's promoting peace and trying to end a situation that's taking a lot of lives. Again, I've stated I'm not an expert on this situation. Anyone that has more insight, comment below, but again, come with respect. Keep it classy. Keep it professional, if you will. Don't argue or attack anyone. And that's if you feel like commenting. Some of you may not feel like commenting on this situation. 
and that's okay as well. You know, if you don't want to comment on the situation, it's okay as well. But those that do, just be respectful. Again, my opinion on the situation, I've said it before when we're talking about the Ukrainian war with Russia, I'm pro-peace. Anything that ends the war saves lives. What's happened has happened, but there's no way a war will end without the two countries coming together and working towards the future and declaring uh, some type of peace treaty. Shaking hands will be the result of peace for situations like this. That's my stance. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back. <laughs>